Hello everyone, welcome to the 4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to create core of lead map in your Drupal instance. So for that we need a leaflet module. So this I already downloaded and I enabled in my uh, Drupal instance. Leaflet module is already enabled and this module will have a dependency of uh, GeoPin. So that is also enabled. After that, I created a new content type. In that content type, I created a new field for uh, geo field. Once that is created, so you just need to go to manage form display. And here you have to select uh, <coughs> geo field uh, WKT and save it. After that, go to content landmark. So here we are going to add our content. So um, not that format, so it should be um, default. Yeah, Leo flip map default. So go and uh, refresh. So refresh now. Okay. So now we created a leaflet map. So we need a content to create leaflet. Or go to tutorial. And here you will have a, a documentation for chloroplet map. So here you have a JSON file. So just click on JSON file. And here you can see, uh, here we have a, a coordinates for uh, some of uh, US regions, so you can get all the content here. So now I am going to create first content that is Alabama. So give title. After that, just copy the complete structure of it and then paste it here. So you can see our uh, Coordinates is reflected here. Once that is done, save it. Once you've created, uh, let's add two more content landmarks. So here I'm going to give one more content that is Alaska. Copy the coordinates. So this will be big, I think. Copy and paste it here. So we added this region also. Save it and add one more content that landmark. So that will be for Arizona. Copy the coordinates. Scroll down, paste it and then save it. So now we created our uh, a map with regions for almost three content. So let me remove these all, all the content where I'm using uh, latitude magnitude. So I'm going to remove all this. So these are the three contents. I'm having only the uh, complete coordinate regions. Now I'm going to create a uh, view. That is uh, map. I'm creating this for a landmarks content type. So this will be the page. And then uh, display format will be leaflet map. And then here give fields. Scroll down and save it. Once you saved uh, in the settings. So we don't have location field in the field section. So add the location. Click on the location. Add and configure the fields. Apply. 
So now click on the settings. So here select the data source for your leaflet map, that is location field. And then pop up. So uh, when you click on your content, So when you click on the content here in your uh, node view page, so here you can see the pop-up is coming. So that you can have to configure it in your uh, content type landmark manage display. When you scroll down here in the settings of your format app, you will have a field called pop-up. So you just need to give the uh, value for your pop-up in a pop-up content. Okay. So once you give, it will be coming here. So for your view, you have to select here, title, and apply. And when you scroll down, you can see uh, we are able to see all the regions here. Okay, just save it. Now we created all this. Next, what I'm going to do, in a manage fields of plan mock, I'm going to have a one more field that is color. So that will be text field here. Text plane, color. So I'm going to use this color to fill my uh, region. Save, save it. After that, uh, so here you will get. Uh, hex code for your colors. So let's edit all of our content. So three content edit. So select any, con any color, copy the code and paste it in the code field. And for next one, delete. Copy it and paste it here. And your next one is brown. Copy the code and paste it for another content. Okay. So now we created a uh, content with colors. So when you go to structure, content type of landmark, manage display. When you scroll down, so here you will be able to fill the use the color field to fill that region. So here you can see uh, path geometric options. So here you have to give the color here. So here I'm giving token, not on color, you have to give it on the fill color, okay? So that is a field colon, sorry, node colon, uh, node colon, field underscore color. So this is the field name, just scroll down, and here you can give the opacity, uh, fill opacity, I'm giving 0 0.7 so that it will be little dark. Update. And then scroll down. Save it. So once that is saved, click on the content, scroll down. And here you can see the color what you gave, that is get filled. And click on the another content. So here also you can see the blue color is filled. And for next content, so the color is applied. So this is how to fill the color. So even you can change the outer layer color by uh, giving the color for your color field. So in the geometric field, you just need to give the color in this field. Whatever you are giving the color, that will be considered for outer layer. The blue color currently it is Printing in blue color. Okay. So let's check the view which we created. So chloroplate map. So in this also you have to add that uh, token in your uh, settings. Before adding colors here, what you have to do? Here uh, in the fill color. Yeah, here you have to add the token, but before adding a token, what you have to do? You have to add the fields here. Okay, so add the color field here so that uh, those tokens will be available for us in our settings. So add and configure and then uh, apply. 
And when you click on this, uh, check for uh, replacement pattern. So here you have scroll down and copy the token what you have here. So this is for our uh, field color. Copy the value and then search for fill. And here you have to give that value, fill, field color. And then just uh, apply. So once you apply, scroll down and save it. Now just refresh here, scroll down. So here you can see all our uh, states coordinates are getting displayed in uh, the color which we mentioned in our field. And uh, when you click on this, you can see here the outer layer is not coming, no? So when you search for that, uh, so here you can see the color I have given star. So if you give any color or if you can give the same color to give the outer layer, to display something like that okay and here uh, we are using the replacement pattern in your uh, settings when you go to manage display of your content so here you are using node right uh, so here you are using node token so to use this feature you have to enable node module sorry token module in your drupal instance okay so this is how you have to create a chloroplate map in your drupal instance and that's it about today's video if you like the video please share like and subscribe to my channel thank you bye